irreversible change on the way, be blessed, it's Prophet Isaac Mill, I will talk about the signs of times and the end of this world, I saw how this world is influenced and rules by the enemy and wicked spirits, that are fighting the children of God. The intensity of the battle and manipulation of evil forces has to do with the fact that there is no more time left, they are accelerating their manipulation and intensifying their manoeuvre around the children of God, the enemy is in rage for his destination is the lake of fire that burns with sulphur, therefore he leave no stone unturned, he will put maximum pressure and intensify his assault on the sons and daughters of God, true Christian will feel the pressure, the Lord said you will tell my people prayer is the key, tell them to spend more time in prayer, otherwise they will not withstand the pressure and assault of dark forces, even if you are tired brother the enemy is not tired and does not sleep, he is making claim on every Christian seeking to pile pressure and overwhelm the saint to overthrow them, he made claim on Peter and Job, the Lord said Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift each of you like wheat. But I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith will not fail. And when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers, even Job that was fearing the Lord the enemy was looking for him, he has similar plan for every child of God, the dragon is planning apocalypse on earth, I was taken to the height of the space in the cloud and I was surrounded by the glory of God, and the Lord began to show me the demon that have invaded the earth the Lord show the enemy planning and strategizing how to bring more darkness and evil in the church and in society. The plan that the enemy is preparing for the inhabitant of the earth will change life as we know it. He is planning to make life on earth like hell, especially for the saints, everything will become unbearable, time is short. The infernal world is agitating and getting furious, no one. No man and woman will be spared by the calamity and change planned by the God of this world and his fallen angels, this evil prince has plans that will be implemented, and life will no longer be the same for the people of this world. The Lord warn his chosen and remnant to brace themselves for things that are about to happen and befall the people of this world, the kings of this world have aligned with the God of this world to bring about the change that will interrupt the routine of this life. We are in the last days and the dragons seek to erase the living church, it is written at that time Michael, the great prince who protects your people, will arise. There will be a time of distress such as has not happened from the beginning of nations until then. But at that time your people everyone whose name is found written in the book will be delivered. When the angel Michael comes he will push the people of God to pray and seek the face of God and he himself will also fight for the true servants of God he will fight for the true Christians. The strategy of paralyzing the believer prayer life, I was in the sky above the earth with the Lord, I saw beneath the ocean Lucifer mobilizing marine spirit for his end time strategies, these wicked spirit were gearing up for the invasion of the world and the church, I saw beneath the water the many plans put in place by the enemy, like the contamination of world food was prepared under water the real target is the Christian, the enemy is targeting the prayer life of the believer, prayer is the cornerstone of Christian life, prayer is the force that can paralyze the prince of this world damaging the infrastructure of his dimension, brethren, when you can't pray you will suffer defeat and will be taken to captivity, I saw the enemy putting his mark, signs and symbol in clothes in order to put out prayer in the church, he want to destroy Christians through food and clothes. There is a river of stain and contamination that is passed on world food, clothe and whatever we buy in the street, yet the believer is not enough vigilant when buying food and clothe and articles contaminated by the enemy in the street, we must be careful when we go out to buy things that we bring home, the believer must pray when buying food and clothe right there in the street, we knows that human meat is being sold in the market food and clothes have become the weapon of the enemy to annihilate the prayer life of the saints, may have become weak, heavy and fat and cannot concentrate in prayer for one hour, the enemy is gathering entrepreneurs and businessmen underwater to sell contaminated items that will paralyze the prayer life of the saints who fail to pray. People wear clothes made by satanic entrepreneur, clothes in which the enemy injected his seed of stain. He is scared of prayer and the destruction it cause. Thus everything is done to neutralize prayer in the life of the believer. 
he is actively working to remove a life of fasting and prayer among the evangelical, and in order to stop the believer from walking in the fear of the Lord he is targeting our dedication in fasting and prayer, let me warn Christian parent that are buying dolls to bring home for the children, the Lord will hold you accountable for bringing object dedicated to foreign God, you are bringing home demon that will cause destruction of your children, that the Lord has placed under your care, the enemy want to stop children from serving God, and he has placed the spirit of rebellion in dolls in order to possess children, in truth these dolls are demon, we were in the sky when I saw demon that dwell beneath the earth, they were covered with the dust of the undear, when you look at them they were like the earth or the dust but they were wicked spirit, they were innumerable and they were invading the earth and entering the life of those who had the door open, these demon were like chameleon, taking the form of their environment, from the height of the sky the Lord then showed me demon that dwell in desert, their body were covered with desert sands, these demon were operating in desertic countries and in countries that are around desert, they were entering churches to fight the saints, these territorial demon are opposing the gospel and churches in Arabic countries, all these demon are mobilized for the end time battle, I saw other demon that came from the forest, they took the forms of tree, they were moving like trees, but they were evil spirit, the army of Satan are deployed and they are not resting until they conquer a hundred percent of the church and humanity, they will use even the friends of the believer to bring them down, woe to these who laughing now for they will cry, the saint must content themselves with what they have, we were moving in space, and every step we took we had to fight against demons of all kind and they were innumerable, they were demon even in the sun and the moon and the stars, demon that reside in the sun cast evil spells on the people of the world at dawn, midday, evening and midnight, unless you live praying you will be reached, the church must persevere in prayer, when we don't pray angels remain inactive and their power correspond to the prayer of the saints, when we fail to pray things happen to us and we blame God instead of negligence in prayer and distraction, the more you pray the angels are active in your favor, the Lord showed me the battle coming against me but the angel fought in my favor, I saw that the angel that fought for me had my face, for they are angel that have our face, every man on earth have an angel that has his face, when you pray a lot this angel that have your face will also fight you, I was surprised to see this angel with my face, he told me, I am always around you in these battles, I learned that whatever the Lord give us, the people who receive them first is the angel's defender and the angel that have our face, these angels bring us our blessing but these blessing can be stopped if we do not persevere in prayer, I remember when the Lord asked me, do you know that all the movement you do in prayers count and have an effect in the spirit world, when you pray with lifted hand it matter, brother, I remember an ikanta, where the Lord Jesus took me to a dimension that looked like a bush, and I saw Satan moving, he had two horns on his head, in the middle of his head was like fire burning like a flambeau, the Lord asked me, Isaac, when you cast out devils which gesture you do, I said in most churches we clap our hand, the Lord said it's not just like that, you have to use your finger when you are commanding demon and casting devils, the Lord said, when I was on earth I was rebuking demon using my finger, that's how you should do it, use your finger pointing them in faith there are impact when you pray and make movement with your hand, especially when you lift your hand to ask and receive, and when you kneel down to show submission, Joshua did as Moses had instructed him and fought against the Amalekites, while Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. As long as Moses held up his hands, Israel prevailed, but when he lowered them, Amalek prevailed. There are ritual in God that the believer can do, the Lord may ask you to use oil in a situation or even water, but we cannot make it systemic, for above all there is power in the name of Jesus Christ, you can be marching or clapping in the physical during prayer, and the enemy may hear the sound of your clap like bomb and detonation and the step of your feet like earth earthquake or the sound of many chariot of war approaching, these gesture and rituals are weapons of war is spiritual battle. The Lord said tell my people to be vigilant, as you live in this world you must discern what the enemy is doing, he has many agents working to deviate the church from my way and to maintain the world in darkness, it is because of witchcraft in the food, 
clothe that many are struggling to pray. They used to fast every week but they have slackened, they had become heavy and they spent days, weeks and months unable to pray. The main objective of the enemy is to put out fasting and prayer among the believer. You must watch and pray because the changes that are on the way will make life hell on earth. After bringing down the prayer life of many the enemy he has sent the spirit of distraction. Many are unable to maintain the life of prayer. The Lord said warned the church against the spirit of distraction. Everything in this world is distraction, starting from technology and entertainment that is taking away the light of the believer and destroying the prayer life. Divine power of the saint is eroding because of the Babylonian technology of the beast. Brother anything that is taking our focus away from the Lord is distraction. The Christian is losing spiritual power when spending time before social network platform and television, and the seed of the love of this world is planted in the heart of many that become attached to the innovation and new technology of the beast. The enemy wants the believer to have a degree of attachment to this world through the good things this world offer the church. He is working to cause the evangelical to love the world and be attracted by the innovation and trend of the world. Whatever is preventing the believer to spend time reading the word and praying the spirit of distraction is behind it, and through technology the prince of this world is launching new platform that attract even the attention of the saint, he is tireless and working to launch new technology that will marvel the world and attract even the attention of the saint, the Bible say that the knowledge will increase, we must take care and guard our spiritual garment from the stain washing it with the soap which is the word of God and the blood of Jesus Christ, when you sin you must always ask forgiveness with sincere heart, for what God wants from us is the life of holiness or sanctification, he says seek peace with all and sanctification without which no one will see God, if you do not have the life of purification or sanctification you will not see.